How you guys look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 play review and today guys between the 85 rated footmas SPC rubbish of AC Milan. This is a really really good looking card. I was able to complete his loan SPC of course for absolutely free and in this three games that he did play with me uh, did score uh, six goals with this card and also get one assist and he does also have a four star big foot as well as four star skill moves. Moving along to him stats his main stand on stats are going to be his 90 shot power his 85 reactions as well as his 87 dribbling and finally his 88 strength and it did also to have uh, just a basic chemistry that applied to rubbish because of course he is only a loan card. So there is going to be three reviews out today as we start off with this rubbish card, then gets the Gedson Fernandez road to the final card from Benfica out, and then finally finish with David De Gea. And um, this is a good card, uh, 115k his SBC will cost if you do not already have anything of use to go towards his SBC. I'm pretty certain from when I checked it was just one segment for his SBC, or I might have been mis mistaken with uh, maybe the David De Gea SBC, I'm not too sure, but... Um, you know, listen, we talk about a lot of the strikers that are available in Syria, and obviously you've got Ronaldo, who is under a million coins now, which is uh, which is very surprising in my opinion, because I think for under a million coins, he's an absolute bargain for that price, because I think he's the best player in the game. But um, you do have a lot of other good Syria strikers, flashback Mario Balotelli, um, Higuain is good, uh, Daibali can convert to a striker, uh, Lukaku, um, Martinez, Aventa, Milan and stuff, so there are a lot of already really good strikers in the Serie A, and you know, 115k or spending over 100k for an untradeable card, yeah, you know, it's, it's quite a bit, but at the same time, you're getting such a quality striker, I remember the start of FIFA 20, there was so much people just raving about his regular goal card, which I want to say was an 80 rated or maybe 81 rated, so he's had a pretty decent increase for this footmas card, and, um, and I thought he played very well in game and that was evidence of course with the um with the six goals in the three games also getting an assist as well you know he's got 83 finishing 83 positioning 90 shot power i tell you what guys even with the basic chem style you know, yes, his positioning and shot power are increased, but his finishing remains at 83. Yet, despite that, his finishing was fantastic. It really, really was, especially from inside the box. From long shots and stuff, I was a little bit disappointed about. I didn't think he was great at those necessarily, but certainly from the edge of the box or inside the box, he is clinical in that area. On his left, on his right, no problem whatsoever. He can finish the ball, and obviously, six goals in three games, you cannot, uh, you, you know, you just simply can't complain about that whatsoever. His second pro as well will also be his pace 88 acceleration and 96 sprint speed. That sprint speed as well does go to 90 now with that basic chem style which is beautiful and uh, obviously he's also got 83 stamina as well so you do not have to worry about him getting tired um, and he makes a lot of good runs because um, of course his positioning is at 83 but that goes to 88 with the basic chem style and because of how good his positioning is it allows him to make good runs where he can pick out passes to him and he's making a run for like all the defenders and you'll, you know, you'll, you'll make like a nice little through ball to him he'll be through one on one People are going to catch back up to him and he'll go and finish or at least, you know, force a save from the goalkeeper. So, uh, pace, finishing, brilliant. Couldn't complain about that. Also, his strength, I thought, was very good. He's got 88 strength and 89 aggression. That strength as well goes up to 93 with the basic chemistry style. And he feels strong. Yes, it's obviously really good with him being um, quick and stuff like that. But also, he's got that strength. So, you know, he can always, if he is surrounded by lots of players, because his dribbling isn't necessarily the best. It's not bad as dribbling, but it's not the best, in my opinion. Uh, if he's surrounded surrounded by loads of players where he can't really use his pace necessarily, he can be relied upon with his strength to be able to keep possession of the ball, then go and pick a pass off or maybe try and get through players to, you know, try and get through on goal and stuff, so uh, again, a fourth strength, another really good asset to the card, for me, there's no major concern to him, I think his passing for a striker isn't too bad, his vision at 77 goes up into the low 80s, his shot power goes up to 85, he was able to get me one assist in the three games as well, um, his dribbling I want to touch on, I don't think it was necessarily bad, but at the same time, he's not the smoothest of plays, he's not really... He's slightly clunky, but not to the point where I wouldn't be put off using him. Um, I, and I wouldn't, you know, put you guys off from doing the SPC. I thought his dribbling was okay. I just don't think it's it's certainly not the best that I've used in FIFA, but it's also not the worst as well. But I think if you were to do this SPC and you were to apply a chemistry style, I'd really probably focus on getting something that really focuses on getting his dribbling up. So maybe like the artist chemistry style, maybe the finisher chemistry style. I think finisher increases both his shooting and dribbling or uh, something like that. Find a chemistry style in my opinion, the trying to increase his dribbling a little bit more, especially in like the uh, the balance area and stuff like that. But um, no, on the whole, I thought he was a good cover. 150k, would I recommend him? I mean, personally, I wouldn't do him. Um, I think that's not to say he's a bad card, by the way. Do I think he, I mean, I actually use two Serie A strikers in my team. Do I think he's as good as Flashback Mario Balotelli? No. Do I think he is as good as CR7? No, I don't. But I think he is... 
You know, obviously, Balotelli and Ronaldo are much more expensive cards than what this Rebic card is. I think for his price, he is decent value for money. You can link him in with a good team. I think he's a quality striker. He just wouldn't fit into my team personally, but that's not to say he's a bad card. Absolutely not. I think for 150k, he's good. I think you do get a few packs in return as well, obviously, if it's more than one segment. Um, so, yeah, good cards on the whole. Impressed me. I thought what he did in game, you know, seven goal contributions in three games. It was a very good return. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.